Salam and hello everybody. I hope you're all doing really well. So welcome to my latest video, which is a lockdown daily routine. So what I get up to during the day, during this current lockdown. This was actually recorded during the week. The older kids were at school, which is one thing I'm really happy about because last lockdown they were at home and it was a lot more difficult. So I don't actually have to do the school run in the morning. Akil, my husband does that. So I just kind of get up, sort myself out, sort the little ones out, run a bit of washing, take my vitamin D and a bit of orange juice. I was having some leftover toast. This was Uthman's, but because he was in a rush for school, it was left over and I thought I can't let it go to waste so I had it instead it wasn't that tasty but that's mum life for you right so we got ready to go to the park I have to do at least one outing a day with the kids they don't just sit at home do your kids like are they okay to sit at home all day like mine they won't the little ones won't my older kids used to be fine with staying at home but these two little ones they need to be out at least once a day i don't know why they live in the high life but there you go the weather's been okay this week it's not been really dull or really wet so it's still okay to kind of step out and have a nice little walk in the park We took a little bit of uh, bird food and uh, Ayub fed the birds and it's getting quite difficult with Haroon because he's not quite at the walking stage, he's really close to it but he's not quite there and he doesn't like me carrying him or staying in the pram so he likes to crawl all over the ground and he gets really messy. <laughs> I really need to buy him a snowsuit or something. I'll have a look online later, I'd usually go into Primark but it's closed sadly. We'll make do for now. He was in a bit of a grumpy mood, <laughs> look at him fighting in the swing. Because I picked him up and put him in the swing but he wanted to be let loose. So yeah, I can't wait till he actually starts walking and then uh, he's not crawling everywhere. So I like to spend at least an hour. If I don't give the kids their time, like an outing or like, dedicate all my time to them for at least one or two hours, I don't get any time for myself or they're just not stimulated enough. So when we got back, I sorted Ayub out with some lunch, some chicken wraps that I'd made in my meal prep. These have been really useful for days like this when you've been out all morning and you don't have the time to make something nice. So Ayub likes to sit in front of YouTube and then Haroon, thankfully, alhamdulillah, he went to sleep. I was just on Instagram, being a bit lazy after the morning fresh air. And then I had to do my afternoon prayers, Ayub kept disturbing me and then I had my lunch which was a chicken wrap and leftover cake or muffin from Ayub, leftovers again. <laughs> and then I decided to make some ghee, so if the kids are sleeping then I can get on with like one job if I really want to or I can sit and relax but I thought I'd uh, listen to something, a video or a podcast and get on with something on my to-do list which was to make some more ghee and to make some jam before the raspberries went off. So I made some more ghee because we'd run out and uh, yeah, it was straightforward. Just like the last time I made it. There's loads of videos on YouTube if you want to make your own ghee from butter. This time I had to use a cloth as well as the sieve because some of the milky bits were going through. So there's my ghee all ready and ready to go. I know you like my ice cream pot. And then I decided to make the raspberry jam. So if you saw my last video, my grocery haul, I got some raspberries on offer and then I got it in my head to make some raspberry jam, which was really straightforward actually. I added in some sugar. I thought you have to use jam sugar specifically and you can't make jam any other way, but yeah, you can make it just with normal sugar. So 
uh, sugar, raspberries, some lemon juice. Bring it to the boil. And then put a timer on for seven minutes to allow the jam to cook and boil off. And if you want to check if the jam is ready, you put a plate in the freezer and then spread a bit of the jam on it. And if it sets, or if it has like a wrinkly skin, then it's ready. So mine was fine. It was slightly runny, but I didn't mind it like that. It wasn't really, really thick or anything. But if it's too runny for you, just boil it off a bit more. And I had these cute little jars that I bought from Ikea on our last visit, which were perfect for this jam. And they look so cute. So after that, I went to get uh, Uthman from school, uh, which is not too far, bought him home and then uh, sorted out dinner, which was this kebab and uh, Mediterranean veg bake. I've got a video coming up after this one, inshallah, with this meal and a couple of others. So keep an eye out for that, inshallah. But this was really tasty. We just had that with some rice, gave the little kids a shower. Haroon slept for a little while. And then since I had the jam, I thought I'd make use of it by making a jam and coconut sponge cake with some custard. You might remember it from your school days. So I made the cake part just like I make my cakes anyway. So caster sugar, unsalted butter, mix them together and then add in the eggs. The eggs I had were kind of small, so I added five, but if you've got large eggs, just add four. And then add in the self-raising flour, some baking powder. Mix that all together. Ayub was clearly enjoying what he was mixing. And then I added this vanilla extract. I got this one from Aldi. It's nice, got a nice flavor. And then I just put it into a rectangular oven dish which I'd greased and lined. So my making ghee, making jam and baking was my way to kind of um, get through the day. So each day or most days, not all days, I'll give myself a task to do. For example, one day I plan on organizing the fridge because it's a mess. Yeah, and I won't do too much at once. On this day, I did a little bit too much. It's because I wanted to make use of the jam and to enjoy some cake with it. So I popped the cake in the oven and then it was nice and ready. I think I took mine out a little bit early because it sunk in the middle, but the kids were kind of screaming in the background. I know you can't hear that, but I muted it. So <laughs> thank God for the mute button. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, once you've taken it out, spread over the jam and some desiccated uh, coconut, slice it up. And serve it with some custard. I had some ready-made custard from Aldi. I was following a, a recipe for pink custard, which was basically to add a few drops of uh, red food coloring. It turned mine orange, so that didn't quite work out. So I think I need to get a different kind of food coloring because that particular powder didn't work. But anyway, serve the cake with some custard. To relax that night, I just watched some EastEnders. And that was the end of one day during lockdown. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Jazakallah, thank you so much for watching. Inshallah, see you soon. Take care, salam. Bye.